Since embarking on her latest romantic relationship with Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey, Swift has found herself at the receiving end of rather nasty comments as a result of her attending NFL games to support him. Swift has not only received a flurry of hate online for attending Kelsey's matches, some NFL fans complaining about the amount of time she's shown on the cameras. Despite it being completely out of the star's control, for example, the wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Taylor Swift at This game is annoying AF. I don't even like football and I agree it's destroying football. Just enough. But the backlash has gone as far as to see Swift being booed as she walked through a stadium to support her partner, professional writer Robert People, who goes by the username at People's Court 79 has since taken to his TikTok to not just defend Swift but also educate the haters as to the wider consequences of their comments against the pop star, the dad, also an author of several books, addresses his video to the people out there, especially grown men, expressing all this nasty, ridiculous. Hate for Taylor Swift just for existing and supporting her boyfriend in the NFL, dot he warns, just keep in mind Taylor Swift's not going to see or hear any of that, but you know who will. Your daughters. And with all this juvenile hatred you're showing Taylor Swift for simply being there, he continues. You're encouraging your daughters to shrink themselves and reduce who they are. People resolves, because if they do anything more than that, if they decide to just be themselves, they're going to get a whole lot more hate from not only the world but from people just like you, their own parents. We need to do better, straight up. And people are flocking to the post to weigh in on the TikToker's words. Point one user said, Taylor Swift hate is just targeted misogyny poorly disguised as pop culture critique. This is the best take I've seen thus far. Well said, a second commented. A third wrote, Men checking men is my new fave Taylor Swift effect. Thanks for letting us know good men still exist. The bad ones are so loud. And a final added, can we also talk about how their sons will hear it too? We're not talking enough about how it's teaching boys to treat women.